I don't think I clearly stated why exactly I'm doing this. It's, um, it's more than just wanting to tell my story. It's, I believe it's, I come from a very rare perspective, being raised with black culture and my family being black. I'm the only one that's white besides my mom, of course. There's a lot of things that I saw firsthand, many, many prejudices, um, just the treatment, uh, treatment of me when people knew about my family and where I came from. And, um, you know, what I saw my brothers, what I saw my brothers go through and even my own sons who are biracial, um, my own identity crisis, um, wanting to fit in and then um, understanding the, the flip of that. Um, black women and hair and, um, and I have stories uh, that I'll share regarding my own journey and um, the relatability of that. So. Um, I didn't know how emotional I was going to be. I really actually thought I've told a gazillion stories to many people and that I could uh, easily just talk about it and um, just be factual. But uh, I'm finding that's not the case at all. So um, I'm going to do my best to um, get through and really be able to tell the story but I really want it to be authentic and I find myself trying to water it down um, because I am a little bit concerned I'm, I'm afraid I'm afraid is what it is um, because because it's a lot um, not like other people don't have stories and their life is you know their life and we have we all have stories and um, we, we go through tough things and, and we overcome them as well. And, and that's an aspect that I also will be um, going through as well because um, that's, that's the key to life, right? You fall down, you have different perspectives, you learn things and you get back up. So um, stay with me. Please give me feedback. Ask me questions. If I leave out a detail, um, let me know.